Welcome everybody to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a life and love transformational coach and founder of Single in Stilettos. Today we have a very special guest, Robert Manny, and he's the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. And I'm so excited to have him here today because today we are talking about there are men who want to date women their age. But before we jump into it, Robert, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about you and what made you write this book. Okay, I'm a New York City-based writer. My background's advertising and marketing. The book, as Suzanne had mentioned, is The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. It's a rom-com, it's a novel. It's about two guys in advertising competing for love, sex, power, and money. It's been called The Male Sex in the City. I was inspired by uh, all of the relationship craziness and the deep communication chasm I noticed between men and women uh, dating in New York City. So I thought I should write about it, but do it from the male point of view, because I think a lot of women have misconceptions about men sometimes, and the, the news is not all bad. That is true, and I read your book, and it, I love this book. I couldn't put it down. It's a great beach read, in fact. That was an idea. So... Robert, I know we've you and I have had conversations about this, so we're not saying all men want to date women their age, but what we're saying is not all men want to date younger women either, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the issue is, listen, a lot of guys and a lot of women, they're going to want to date younger people, and that's just, that's just reality. But there's a lot of people who realize it's better to date uh, a more age-related people, and there's a, there's a number of reasons for that. Um, number one is, you know, when you have some experience, I think guys appreciate it. When they, if they're dating some 22-year-old, they have to talk about Drake's newest uh, song, and it just there's a lot of cultural things that are a mismatch, and you have to kind of keep up, and you don't want to be kind of made to feel old in front of their friends and all that. So a lot of guys, they'd rather date somebody more age-appropriate because, you know, if they're smart, and I think a lot of guys are, they realize that women who've been around a little bit have some experience. They're going to have some maturity. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to have some money, and they're going to have some power and connections. And those things are all important, particularly if you're in a big city and you're dating, because you can meet a lot of people who are going to help you in different areas. And you will also want to be on the same wavelength when you're talking about your job, how your day went, your business. You can relate to your partner if you're, if you're in the same you know, decade, if you will, for, for dating. Now, of course, love is blind, and you could meet somebody a lot older than you or a lot younger, but... There are a lot of advantages for men to date women their own age. Uh, I notice that also a lot of women uh, who are, uh, you know, past 35, if you will, I say that respectfully, they take, they kick ass in the gym, they take really good care of themselves, they know what they're doing, they're aggressive uh, at work, and they know how to dial it down, you know, when they're out on a date, but they know how to take charge, and that's taking charge in life. And, uh, you know, for some guys, they like it taking charge behind closed doors too. So there's a, there's a lot of advantages to dating women who have some exper life experience. Also, um, they're gonna have more empathy for a guy. They're gonna know that, uh, you know, how it feels to maybe lose their job, look for another job, have money issues, have success issues, have suc great successes. They're gonna be able to share in a lot of that from a more empathetic standpoint than uh, somebody who's 21, 22 who may you know, may be a kick-ass body, but may not have uh, enough life experience to really appreciate some of the, the, the details and the things that happen along the way, because we all have our ups and downs. We get knocked down. We get back up again. And one of the tests of true character is, you know, how many times you get up and how much better you do. So that's just like a little bit of the surface, but we can go deeper if you'd like, Suzanne. Yeah, let's go deeper. I know my audience wants to go deeper, too. I think another advantage that guys see with women who are more age appropriate is they know how to, because they have some money and they have some experience, they like to travel, they know where to go, they know the good restaurants, they have a good Rolodex, they know how to dress, they know how to take care of themselves. Like I said, they work hard, a lot of them in the gym. They know it's competitive and they get out there and they put it on the line and they compete. That's just the world we live in, whether it's uh, love, sex, power, and money, you know, you have to go out there and put yourself on the line and uh, uh, women who've been around a little bit, they know that, hey, you know, there's competition. It's like you're a professional football player. You know, your, uh, you know, your lifespan is uh, three to five years. So everybody's competing. It's the same thing in life and in business. We have more time, of course, but there's always people coming up on, on our, behind us. Uh, so 
particularly if you're in a lot of the businesses, the media businesses and things like that in the big cities in New York and L.A. and Chicago and Dallas and et cetera. Um, what else? Relatable culture I talked about where, you know, if you mention the Stones, you're not going to seem like an old man and you don't have to talk about Riri's latest drop or uh, Cardi B or whatever. I mean, that's fine, but there's going to be a lot more that you can uh, relate to from a uh, communication standpoint with your partner if you're within the same sphere, at least, in terms of life experience, whether it's th things that are happening in the past, the stages you go through, life stages currently, and what's going to happen in the future, whether it's be older parents and having kids. Of course, a lot of people have kids, a lot 50% divorce rate. That still doesn't mean that there are not a lot of single mothers and dads out there. You can relate to that, that much better than you can with somebody who's so much younger who's never even been married. So uh, a, another advantage to that. Um, and then I think overall the behavior of a, if you're dating a woman who's over 30, um, you know, she, she's going to have a little more elan, hopefully, and uh, know how to put herself together, know how to behave in social situations. You don't have to be concerned about that. You can introduce her, her to your friends uh, confidently, to your family confidently, and to business associates. So I think overall, smart guys know that it's a good decision to uh, date women who are age appropriate. Yeah, no, and I, I can see like all those reasons why you gave that. But also, would you say that when a man wants to date a woman that's more age appropriate, that he's looking for more, I know we can't um, generalize, but um, I'm, I just want to ask your personal opinion, is that is he looking for more of a partner? That could very well be, yeah. And yeah. so that she's on, like you talked about, the same level in life experiences? Yeah, I think that's that's a great point, Suzanne. You know, that's a much more that's much more of an indicator of searching for a partnership versus just dating and you know drinking and sex and having a good time. You know, we all like that, but you know, a real partnership goes a lot deeper than that. And I think after people have had some life experience, most people who are out there who are dating, uh, they are ultimately going to want to meet a partner. I mean, people you can't you can date forever, but Nobody wants to date somebody who wants to date or get involved with somebody who wants to date forever. Even though for a lot of guys, they can be really comfortable. They figure like, I'll just stay online and just keep dating and dating and dating. But ultimately, you know, most men want, they want a partner and it's, it makes their life easier. It's more comfortable. It's a more mature and natural thing to do instinctively. You know, men want to be with somebody that they can be with. At a certain point, you have to like shut off the dating and, and get serious. Exactly. Well, so what would be your best advice to a woman of a certain age that says, you know, men my age just want to date younger women. I'm going to give up. I don't want to date anymore. What would you say to her when you know that she truly wants to meet the right man and get into that long-term relationship? What would you say? Well, I would say uh, there's two parts of it. First of all, you have to respect yourself. So if a guy just wants to date younger women, that's that's their business. And maybe that's that's not the right guy for you. However... What you can do is, just like we all do in business or professional sports or entertain, whatever, you take the best care of yourself you can. You show yourself self-respect. You, you, you treat yourself well. You buy good clothes. You take nice trips. You eat good food. You go to the gym. You read. You make yourself successful in business. And you show that you have the money, the power, the elan, the sophistication, the clothes, the travel, the accoutrements. And whatever and you have yourself a grand old time and the smart guys will realize that this is a woman I got to get to know so I wouldn't worry too much about the guys who just want to date the young 20 year olds because uh, I don't know if you're gonna change them I'm sure you can if you show them all that you know who they are who you are but if some why waste your time if somebody has that attitude it's much better to go after the guys and meet up with the guys who are open-minded and then show them like wow I'll rock your world in a way that no 20 year old can Right. All right. These have been some great tips and advice. So, Robert, how can our audience find you and your amazing book? Okay. Well, thank you. I just want to make one last point. And that is oh, the sure. most important person to love and to respect is yourself. So don't worry about the guy so much. Just treat yourself well and good things will happen and keep a positive outlook. So uh, you can find me at my website, Robert Manny, M-A-N-N-I.com. I also have a weekly podcast, Guys Guys Radio, 
where we talk about men and women and how they can both be at their best, where everyone wins. Suzanne's been a guest on my show, a lot of other relationship experts and wellness people and metaphysical healers and etc. So it's a lot of fun and I uh, hope you tune in. And I want to thank you, Suzanne, and thank you ladies for uh, just hearing me out a little bit. I'm here to help. So good luck to you. Awesome. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you would like to view the videos, you can go to singleonstilettos.com. If you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. And if you would like to get our free video series, The Secrets About Men, you can click right here on the video or you can go to singleonstilettos.com.